What's good, my pack? My Vernon Kid here back again. And today, guys, check this out. So, I had co workers, even, even, uh, uh, people that follow me on Twitter and Instagram messaging me saying, Yo, Chris, you, did you watch the Avengers Endgame featurette called The End? Um, I'm like, No, I haven't watched it yet. Usually I don't do that. I'm, you know, I, I'm just. And they're like, dude, you gotta watch it. It's, it's, it's almost like an encompass of everything the MCU has done, and it, it's like well done. So I'm like, okay, I, I gotta check this out then. Um, so yeah. Here I am. Check it out. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just uh let, let, let's let's check this out. Okay. And with that being said, you hit that play button. Thank you so much. Uh you're gonna get your entertainment's worth. Let's do this. Here we go. Now Heroes. It's an old-fashioned notion. A visionary, a genius, ensuring freedom. First Iron Man movie right there. A symbol to the nation. Steve. A hero. I love that scene right there. The little boy song. The beacon of hope. Shining out across the stars. I look around at us. Guardians. You know what I see? A bunch of a holes. <laughs> Possibility. You think That's you strange. know how the world works? The world yeah, man. is changing. Yeah. Yo, I'm <laughs> Yo, what the <laughs> Yo, I'm freaking tearing up. What the oh my god, like whoa, um Y'all were right. I would get emotional man, I yo, I I'm freaking i I'm y'all can see, look, look at my eyes. I'm I was tearing my eyes are watery, look at that. Yo Um Damn, yo, um, I didn't expect to get emotional on that, but it did, look, look, y'all can see, look at my eyes, look, look at that, I got, I'm, I'm, I got emotional in this, um, that, that, that truly was, that, that was all 22 movies they showed, they showed pretty much all 22 movies that the MCU has put out. It started with just Iron Man, then Incredible Hulk, 
which doesn't get praised enough in my opinion. Incredible World was a good movie. Um, then Captain America comes along. Then Thor. Then the Avengers. Then Iron Man 2. No, it's just like look at look at look at look at the the uh, abundance of work that was put in and drawn about because of great creators, directors, great talent that come on to bring these characters to life and of course the help of one man Kevin Feige who has worked in superhero movies before but said you know what he said you know what I'm gonna do more with these characters these characters who have over sometimes most of them have over 50 years of of storytelling some younger some older but the fact that when they first announced the MCU Variety News said Kevin Feige is gonna take beadless characters from the Marvel Universe and make stories out of them I'll never forget reading that beadless characters and what was Kevin Feige's response to that he said straight up how is a character a B-list or a C-list character when they got over 50 years of, of knowledge to them? Iron Man, Captain America, Hell, The Incredible Hulk, The Avengers, Ant-Man, Black Panther. The first of the Marvel MC movies to win, win gold. Win that little gold man. Okay? the abundance of work that came and to me it just feels like as they they call in that run the the first 22 movies the infinity arc yeah they're, they're kind of going now dragon ball a little bit the infinity arc the infinity saga the sky's the limits y'all with where they can go now and i don't know about the rest of y'all but I'm ready to see where Kevin Feige and his team are going to take the MCU in Phase 4 and in Phase 5. I'm so ready to see the characters that are introduced, the characters that I want to get introduced into this universe. Hell, everybody knows me knows that if, if, if there's one, they ask me all the time, what female character you want to see, Chris, be introduced in the MCU? I say it all the time, She-Hulk. Instantly, right there. That's the first per character I always say right off the bat. Jennifer Walters. Bruce Banner's cousin. She-Hulk. It is her time. It is being the fact that Mark Ruffalo has one more movie under his contract. Because he signed a, like a six-picture deal. He's got one more. What a, that it, what a way to trans... To transfer... The legacy of Hulk to Jen Walters will be a lot different from Bruce. How about that? Um, just, just the abundance of also pushing now more of the supernatural world in terms in terms of with Doctor Strange started the ball rolling. Keep going with that. Don't stop it. Keep going. Introduce the other supernatural villains like like nightmare St bring dormammu back we shouldn't see the last of him because hell he let's be honest strange didn't really beat him beat him decisively he used a little bit of a trickery in his favor but it worked so you could see dr Str uh you could see dormammu coming back uh, seeing more, introducing more characters in terms of villains, like with Thanos being, I guess this saga's big bad. I've already said, like, okay, somewhere down the line, uh, they should introduce Annihilus as the big bad. Annihilus would be great, and they got the rights back to him. Um, do we, I'm not like I know I'm not the only one that wants to see the big G. In full glory, not a damn cloud, but not as a big bad because Galactus is not really a bad guy. He can't help the way he is, but you want to see it. 
correct? I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. You want to see the first family back in all its glory. You want to see the children of the Adam. Yeah, they're saying that they may not be able to use them for a long time, but the fact of the matter is the children of the Adam, the X-Men, mutants, are home. And the future looks bright, and I am so ready to see how Endgame ends. But more importantly, what happens with the old guard? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So yes, this this trailer was very um, it, it 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 did get me emotional. I I didn't expect to cry. I didn't expect it my eyes to water up like that did. I was like, oh oh shit! But it did. Uh, I ran my mouth off long enough, guys. You guys take care. Uh, and, uh, other than that, guys, I didn't expect to tear up like that. I'm a too emotional guy, that's the problem. Some things I love will make me do that. Oh, well.